Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite deck memorization card tricks. Now this is a revised card trick that I did about three years ago. In my old video I did not do a performance and I wasn't happy with the overall video quality so I decided to do this again. At the end of the video I'll be announcing the eight winners of the deck giveaways from my last two videos plus there's going to be another really cool giveaway. So for the first time I'm going to be using a purple rider back deck. What's really cool about this deck is the faces of the cards are exactly like standard back bicycle faces. I have a purple deck that has purple faces. I never used that one. This deck actually comes with a double backer, a blank card, and two regular jokers. For this effect, we don't need these four cards. So we'll take the cards and we'll give them a few cuts. And... What I'm going to have a spectator do is select any card they like. So let's say the spectator chooses this card right over here. Now, I'm going to scan through all the cards in the deck, and just by doing that, I can tell what card is missing. So I need to concentrate, and going through the deck one time, I can tell the card that's missing is the Four of Clubs. The Four of Clubs. Let's try that again. We'll take the cards and we'll give the cards a couple of cuts. And we'll have a spectator select another card, this time right over here. And once again, I'm going to scan through all the cards and see if I can figure out which card is missing. And it looks like the card that's missing is the Seven of Clubs. It's the Seven of Clubs. Okay, and now the last time we're going to do this, I'm going to do it with two cards. So we'll take two cards, let's say these two cards right over here, and I'm going to try and figure out what those two cards are by going through all the cards. So, okay, it looks like the deck doesn't have a Three of Hearts or a Nine of Hearts. And those are the two cards right there, the Three of Hearts and the Nine of Hearts. Okay, here's the tutorial. This does require a setup, but the beauty of it is that it can be easily reset so you can perform this over and over and over again and people will not be able to figure out what you're doing. What you want to do is take 26 matching cards in value and suit. So two red twos, two red jacks, two black nines, two red aces, go through the entire deck and set up two piles of 26 cards that match in color and value. Set one on top of the other, you turn the cards over and you can show the spectator that all the cards are mixed up. You can give the cards a couple of cuts and you can explain to the spectator that you have a photographic memory. If one card is removed from the deck, you could scan through the rest of the cards and you could tell what card is missing. Have the spectator select a card. So wherever they select the card, let's say it's right here, you're going to split the deck at that point. And you're going to take the bottom half and move it to the top, just like that. So now, they're looking at their card, you turn the cards over, and the two cards you're going to be looking at are the cards on the top and the bottom. And all you're going to say to yourself is black four, black six. And you say you're going to go through the cards and you're going to see if you can find the card that's missing. What you're looking for is the other black four and the other black six and the card in between them. So you're going to go through the cards and as soon as you see the black four and the black six, you see that there's a black king right between them, the king of clubs. So you know the card on the table is the king of spades. So you go through the rest of the cards, you pretend that you're memorizing all the cards and you say, I think the card that's missing is the king of spades. You turn it over, now you just set it right back on top of the deck or on the bottom of the deck, cut the cards, and you can do it again. The way I did it with two cards was exactly the same, as long as the two cards are consecutive. So you say just point to two cards, and let's say they take these two cards, you move the bottom to the top, once again you flip the cards over, you're now looking at the bottom card and the top card, so you're saying black five, red queen, you go through the cards, you're looking at black five, red queen, and now you see the ten of clubs and the two of spades, so you know they're the other two black, 10 and 2, so it's the 10 of spades and the 2 of clubs. You keep going, and you say, it looks like the 10 of spades and the 2 of clubs are missing, and you turn over the 10 of spades and the 2 of clubs, and people will be amazed because you can keep doing this. When you want to reset these two cards, you want to make sure that 
after the 5 is the 210. So it goes 5 to 10, 5 to 10. So now the deck is back in order. I really love this one. It always impresses. Let me know what you guys think. And now for the deck giveaway. Here are the five winners from the experimental interactive card trick video. Winner of the red bicycle deck goes to Benula Karanartne. The winner of the blue bicycle deck goes to Mikey Sneaks 13. The winner of the orange bicycle deck goes to Twix Box Mox. The winner of the turquoise bicycle deck goes to Christopher Wade. And the winner of the fuchsia deck goes to Clippers Fan 32. Here are the winners from the picture sequence video. Winner of the orange bicycle deck goes to Jack Jill 666. Winner of the turquoise bicycle deck goes to 100 Lightning Bolt. And winner of the fuchsia bicycle deck goes to Ryan Shaw. And now for this week's giveaway. This week I'm giving away some really cool prizes. We have the turquoise, the orange, and the fuchsia signed deck of bicycle playing cards. I'm giving away a purple signed rider back deck of bicycle playing cards. In addition to that, a signed discontinued brown rider back deck of bicycle playing cards. And in addition to that, the WoW card trick sleeve. All you have to do is leave a comment below, like the video, and I'll be announcing the winners next week. So good luck to everybody. That's it. I'll see you next time.